hello guys welcome to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a flyer for facebook banner post so let's get started now go to your file after you open your photoshop then here i'm going to enter the number which is 1200 by 628 pixels then you leave your resolution at 300 then you now click on great so this is facebook banner post okay now let's move forward Then these are the resources I'm going to use in this tutorial. Then I'll drag this one over here. Then come down. Then I'm going to pick the background I'm going to use. So just watch. Then here I'm going to pick this color over here for my background. Then you can see the color code over here. So anyhow you want it, so you make use of either the code or you pick a color from the heart design all right now duplicate it that is ctrl plus j then i'm going to move this one over here then okay now go to your filter select blur gaussian blur then i'm going to blur it by 13.9 then click OK. So after we are done with this one, I'm going to import this pizza. No, before then, I'm going to import these veggies here. Yeah? Then you drag it over here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next, then I'm going to blur it, select the layer, go to your filter, then you blur it. Then I'm going to reduce it around something like 8.4 or 8.0, anyone you want. So you can choose. Then you rasterize it. Now I'm going to duplicate this one by copy it. Then I'll drag this one over here. Then I was, I'm going to select the layer. Then right click and flip it horizontal. Now I'm going to import this to Manto. So as you guys see, this is a blend to Manto. Now I'm going to reduce it then drag it to the front of this pepper so having done this one so the next thing i'm going to do now and i'm going to import this pizza Then rasterize it, increase the size, it's okay like this, alright, then import your logo, then place it at the top here, reduce the size, 
Now I'm going to copy my text. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your text tool by pressing T on your keyboard. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font. Make it bold. The font I'm using here is Montserrat. Ctrl plus C to copy your test. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to Valentine Special. Now I'm going to remove the character spacing by 0%. Then increase it a little. Use your arrow key to move this one up. Alright. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus A to alight it. Then you can type it manually, day, or you go back to your test and copy it. Then I'll position it around here. Also duplicate happy. Then you drag it up. Now bring it down over here. Select your test tool, then you alight it. Then I will type it manually, or you can go back to your test, copy it. Then highlight it again, Ctrl plus A. Then scale it out. Now reduce this one. Now I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Apply this setting. Increase the opacity. Then you click OK. Also apply shadow. Now adjust the setting. Then you click OK. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy the layer style. Then right click on this test here. Hold your shift key while you apply all. Then I'm going to bring this shape here. Reduce the size. Then 
Now double click to open the smart object. Double click here. Then go to your color overlay. Then I'm going to change the color to this golden color here. Then click OK. Now close it and save it. Yes. So you can see the color here now. Now, then type this letter 60% of Then make it bold italic. Then you drag it inside here and position it. Control plus C to copy. Then import this icon, reduce the size, now select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then change the font boldness. Then you place it over here. Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then Ctrl plus A to alight it. Go back to your test. Then I'll copy this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the size. Then go back to your board. Make it extra board. All right, now we are going to draw a rectangle. Then I'm going to apply this color here. So this color is from here. Then apply a corner shape. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the font size, then you bring it inside here. Hold your Shift key while you select it, then apply vertical and horizontal alignments. your shift key while you select it then I'll move it over here hold your shift key while you select it then rename it also did the same thing to this one all right I'm going to draw a line here Make sure that you are using parts. Then drag it and form a shape like this. All right, I'm going to leave it like this. 
Then I'm going to copy my text here, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your text tool. So when you position it here, you will see a shape that will appear. Then you paste your text. Now Ctrl plus A to highlight it. And I'm going to change the font here to Valentine Special or Special Valentine, I mean. Then increase the font, make it 14%. Then I'm going to rotate it a little. Okay. So this is the outcome of it. Increase it, reduce it a little. So now I'm grouping them. Okay, so we are done with the group. So to my fans, I will also remind you that I use Fiverr on my, on my graphic to sell. So if you are interested on any of my graphic, please, then you will see the link below in this description. So you can click to order any of your graphic design. So, and if you're interested to sign up for Fiverr accounts, then you will see a description below then where you can click and it will direct you to where you can sign up for your Fiverr account. So here yeah, now what I'm doing is I'm applying a camera raw filter. So I remember, no, I know you remember how to do that. So after you are done with your design, so the next thing to do is to hold your shift plus control plus alt key, then you press E. So it will merge all your designs. So after then, then you go to your filter, then and apply camera raw. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and share and make a comment in the comment sections.